Uh, hello everyone, and in this short video we're going to look at hand drawing a graph. So we'll look at the approach to drawing a graph, um, what, how you should format it, and then uh, drawing the best fit straight line, and calculating the slope, and then getting some uh, information from your graph. So I have some data here, and uh, in this data we can see that we've got um, age of a rock here uh, based on separation of two plates and um, the separation distance and how that depends on the age. So here the independent variable is the age of the rock, that's my x-axis, and the dependent variable is the separation distance. So I want to plot this information. So we can see that the age of the rock goes from 0 up to 3.58 and the separation distance goes up to 66. So my axes are going to have to have enough space to take in these ranges. So let's start off with the x-axis. So it's going from 0 to 0 0.358. So here I've got some graph paper of the type that you get in the exam. And I'm just going to draw a line here on the bottom. So I want to go up to, let's say I want to go up to 4, because that will that'll take into account. So if I make every uh, 5 units here, if I mark every 5th line of the major lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means I can call this 1, 2, three, four. So I've got plenty of space here and I'm filling up the page as much as possible to accommodate my X numbers. So I'll easily be able to put in that range of numbers for the um, Y axis. Let's draw the axis. So again, if I mark one, two, three, four, five. So I might have to go into synthesis. Let's make every two main grids uh, 10. 10, 20. So I'm drawing a pen here, um, just so that it shows up clearly in the camera. But you can see making out the axis might need a bit of trial and error. So it's good to start off with a pencil. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So that's perfect. It's a nice full range and that'll bring me up my separation. All right, so let's, let's put in a few points. So I want, first of all, 0.78. 17. So here each of these minor points are going to be 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1. So 0.78 is going to be about here. And 17. Well, I've got 10, 15. So 17 is going to be about there. 0.99, just short of 1. 18. 1.07, so that's 1, it's 1 1.2, that means that's 1 1.1, that's 1 1.07, 21, and so on. So I'll continue making these points. So here I am now, I've added all of my points. I want to label my axis, so this is age of rock in million years, and this is the separation distance. In kilometers, okay, so we have a label and the unit associated with that label separated by a slash. I can call this graph something sensible. So here I've called it plot of separation of rocks in kilometers as dependent on the age of the rock in million years. Right, so I have, that's my basic graph. It's got axis, uh, 
It's got access labels, access units, and a title. So now I want to uh, draw my best fit straight line. And the best fit straight line is effectively trying to summarize all of these data, individual data points. So what it's trying to do is connect to as many of these data points as possible. So for example, if I drew a line like this, what you can see it's leaving out all of these points. Or if I drew a line here, you can see a lot of the points are underneath the line. So what we want to try and do is, it's hard with a, a wood that you can't see through, but if I draw a line something like that, we can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six points just below the line, and one, two, three, four, five, and six on the line. So this is a pretty even spread of points, and all of the points look reasonably equidistant from the line. So this is my best fit line. And this aims to give an overall trend or summary of where the data points are going. And we can get some useful information from the best fit line. In other words, the steepness of the line. So I could have a line where this could be my graph here. And that could be one particular steepness. Or I could have a line like this. And that could be another particular steepness. That steepness is called the slope. And obviously we can see here the higher the slope, the greater the rate of change. So the higher the slope here, well then the higher my separation distance will be as the rock ages. So we're very interested in how much this changes. So we can define the slope m as being the difference between two data points uh, increasing in the y direction, in other words how much does it increase by, divided by the difference between two data points in the x-direction. In other words, how much does it increase by in the x-direction? So what we're doing when we find the slope is we're finding this value here and this value here, and we're dividing the two to get the rate of change. So in maths, we write this as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where x1, y1, and x2, y2 are two points in the line. Okay, so again, let's uh, try this out. So I, I'm taking, I'm using a pen here. We'd obviously always use a pencil, but just for, to show it on the um, uh, visualizer more clearly, I'm using a pen. So if I take this point here, and maybe this point here. So I'm taking two points that are on the line, not two data points. At this point here, I'm going to call x1, y1. Now, what's the x value there? It's 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. What's the y value? Well, that's 10, that's 15, so it's, I would say, 12.5. And the same here. x2, y2. The x value here is oops, uh, 3.2 and the y value is 60, I'll say 61. So now I've got my y2, y1, x2, x1 values, I can slot them in. So 61 minus 12.5 divided by 3.2 minus 0.6. So 61 minus 12.5 gives me 48.5 upstairs divided by 3.2 minus 0.6. So the slope m is 48, oops, 48.5 divided by 2.6. That gives me 18. Point Let's drop the five, so that means you're rounded. 18.7. And the units here are, how much is it increasing by the distance? Divided by the age. So we write this as kilometers per, millennium, per million years, MA. So write the scan on it here. 18.7. Just put a minus one means divided by. 
this is telling me that these uh, this distance separates 18.7 kilometers every million years. So that's the slope and the um, information we get from the slope. The slope is telling us the rate of change. A positive slope, in other words, going up will be a positive value. A slope going down will be a negative value. The final thing is let's use the data, let's use the graph to find out some data. So the first prompt here is can we determine the age of the rock when the distance was 30 kilometers? So in this case, we can use our graph and our uh, ruler, which is to 30 kilometers. Draw a straight line across. And then if we come down, that's 1.2, 0.4, Six, that's going to be 1.5. So the age of the rock when the separation distance was 30 kilometers is 1.5 million years. That's called interpolation. We're using information from within our data range to find the corresponding value. Because this best fit line gives the overall trend of data, even though we don't have the specific point, we can use the trend to find out some useful information. Extrapolation looks outside of the data range that we have. So the second prompt here is the anticipated distance at 4 million years. So that means we have to go to the 4 value here. So I'll just come up here, it's going to be right here somewhere. Oops, draw my ruler. So this is the 4. Uh, million years line and you can see here the last data point was here so we are extrapolating the extra means outside of so I need to continue my graph up until it reaches that point and then we can get the corresponding y-axis value and we can see it's going to be seventy-five kilometers. So extrapolation is moving beyond our data set. We are assuming the model is correct that the trend will continue in a linear fashion. That always that isn't always the case. But nevertheless here we can make that assumption I think pretty fairly we're not going too beyond the um, data set that we have. So at four million years the separation distance will be seventy five kilometers. We're able to predict that from our data. Okay, so that's the summary of hand drawing a graph, drawing the graph itself, labeling the axis, putting in a title, and then we moved on to putting in a best fit line, calculating the slope, and then what's called interpolating or getting information from within our data set, and extrapolation, predicting beyond our data set to get some information. So I hope that was useful.